Hey guys, it's Cord Ross and welcome to Six News. Today we've got our second teaser for Rainbow Six Siege's new season and we now know what it's called. It's Operation Grim Sky. And we actually get to see the brand new operators. Like for the second teaser, this shows a lot. So this is just mental. This is crazy. We'll go over this picture very soon, of course. But let's go over what they've written here. So these two operators may associate with two different CDUs. But they're both joining Rainbow in the Urban Tactical Response Team, codenamed Grim Sky or GSUTR. The first operator is a defender from Great Britain. So this is our Scotland Yard operator, and this is her, of course, right here. Uh, she's tough. She's a tough police officer who's an expert on mob behaviour and snatch squad tactics. She knows she belongs on the front line and she won't tolerate any nonsense. Of course, she is a shield operator. Freaking awesome to finally have a DLC shield operator. So the second operator is an American attacker. A specialist with a remarkable sharp mind when it comes to tactical operations. He has seen the worst in Cabal. Despite it all, he fell in love with the city. Legendary for his, a legendary for his surgical precision, he remains an enigma within Rainbow Six. We're also introducing our first map rework, of course, that is Hereford base, so that's really cool. Despite the high chance of rain, uh, well, currently not right now anyway, uh, this iconic training facility, we're, re we're renovating the place and making it uh, many adjustments to raise the bar from, for a competitive play. So of course, they're actually going back in time and sending in World War II, which is really cool. Uh, now they also go on down here about stuff that's going to come, come along with this season and it's some really cool stuff. So they're going to bring in the much anticipated modifications for the weapon site alignment. Uh, so this has had gone through multiple different names, but it's basically the rework of the recoil system. And it seems to be pretty much just the same as it was, except now what happens is every bullet will hit exactly where the sight is aiming. Whereas it could have been a little bit off before, and um, that should make it hopefully better for competitive play, but also just in general play as well. So that is something people have been looking forward to, and it's finally coming with Grim Sky, so that is cool. But that is not all. In our constant pursuit to improve the game and the player experience, an adjustment within the operator ideal pick. I'm not entirely sure what that means. It could be the balancing or it could be something else. You guys let me know if you've got any ideas. As well as dynamic uh, resolution scale on consoles. So that's good for consoles because that means if not much is going on, you're going to have a higher resolution. If things get crazy, you're going to have a lower resolution, but hopefully the same FPS all the time. So better for consoles probably in the long term. Um, yeah. So make sure you're playing our test servers they talk about. And of course they talk about the full, full review will be coming on August 19th. That means the test server will pretty much start up a couple of days after that for about two weeks. And then we'll have the release probably around about uh, September 4th for the brand new season. But let's go over this image, right? Let's take a look at it. So... There's a lot to unpack from these operators. To me, the American looks like he's holding a flamethrower. That definitely looks like some sort of blowtorch on the front. And there's what looks to be a protective shield, very similar to the gun shield almost. Um, it does look like a flamethrower. I can't get over how much it looks like a flamethrower. I really feel like a flamethrower in... Rainbow probably wouldn't be the best weapon, but it looks like a flamethrower. It totally looks like a flamethrower, and I cannot get past that. I think it definitely is a flamethrower. But it's interesting because in the blog, it talks about him being very precise. You're not exactly the most precise when you've got a flamethrower. So, yeah. Now, we can't see any weapons on him, so no idea what primary weapon he might have, a, a doubt. The uh, flamethrower is a primary weapon, that's his gadget, so I, I, I would expect he has a gun as well, of course. But it looks like a flamethrower, and yeah, that's pretty mental. That is uh, really crazy. It really depends what he can do as well. And I thought the shield operator would have the blowtorch. That was how I was thinking it was going to go down. But um, it's not, of course. So let's move on to our shield operator. And I just want to remind you guys... 
the shield operator is the defensive operator. So it's a defender with a shield. Awesome. Um, there's a lot to unpack from the shield operator. Like it's obviously a glass shield. It looks to have electricity flowing over the front of it. A lot of electricity. I can only imagine this girl just like rushes in at full speed and just whacks people with her electrified shield. That's all I can see from this. Um, I've got no idea. Both these operators, like, there's a lot of information to unpack from these uh, pictures, but it's actually very hard to figure out what they do. Because a flamethrower would, I think, be really cool in Rainbow. But how would you use it? Like, how would you use that successfully in Rainbow Six? Where it's so, even though there's a lot of information in these, so even though there's a lot of information in this photo, it's hard to kind of unpack it all because, of course, a flamethrower in Rainbow could totally work, but also, how would it work? There's so many different things you could do with it. Like, you could potentially melt your way through reinforced walls. And that would like avoid jammers, avoid bandits, but would seem a little bit overpowered. And of course, the bit on the front isn't an actual blowtorch. It's just for lighting up the flamethrower. But of course, we already got the files saying that there was a blowtorch operator, or at least, at least some sort of blowtorch gadget in the game. So we could be looking at maybe a flamethrower, but also works as a blowtorch as well. So you can like, kind of cut through reinforced walls, but also you have a flamethrower for setting people on fire. Um, pretty crazy, I gotta say. And then, of course, our shield operator who looks like she's just gonna go around smashing people with an electrified shield. Yeah, and I thought we were gonna go like low tech gadgets, and I guess the flamethrower is low tech, but the shield is definitely high tech. I'm gonna have to do a second video on this to follow all this up because, uh, yeah, there's some crazy stuff to think about here. Well, this is great. So, guys, what about you guys? Let me know all your thoughts on these two new operators. That we've just got our first look at and we're going to be getting to see them at full reveal in just a couple weeks time anyway thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you next time